Hello everyone, one from the archive, this one. A long, long time ago, way before the pandemic, I dipped my toe into Age of Sigma, playing Night Goblins, uh, Gloom Spike Gits as they now are, in a small game against Blades of Corn, are they called? And my Mangler Squig, which at the time I divided into two, that being one, piled into the Bloodthirster and... I think there were two of them. And along with the other little squiggies over there, they took out the Bloodthirster. I mean, who can fail to love a creature that is armed with a huge fang-filled gob? And which, as it loses wounds, actually gets more nails and dangerous as it flails about in berserker insanity. You see, what I'd done is taken uh, this Trish Morrison, oh, I think she's now Trish Carden, sculpted, traditionally sculpted, a uh, fine cast model, and split it into two, which I think everyone used to do, leaving out the little goblins because they, did, they didn't quite work, because the fine cast chains just didn't work. And I thought, what can we do to up upcycle these guys into a proper terrifying squig, seeing as now Games Workshop has released a plastic set of mangler squigs and I thought, but what can I do? Because the one looks really new and ZBrush kind of sculpted, you know, digitally and the other one clearly looks like a throwback to the, the mid-90s and then it hit me I mean, who can fail to be drawn to the raw animalistic insanity of these creatures, the little screeching goblins on top going ree, ree. That one looking a bit menacing. Don't ask about the physics of what's likely to happen to him, positioned between these two giant insane beasties. So there you can see the Trish Morrison goodness, um, you know, clearly hand sculpted in, well, the fine cast, people complain about it. I wouldn't want any of these bits to break really, they'd be finished. But look at the teeth, won't they be fun to paint? I think I'm going to respray paint these um, uh, red. Is it Mephiston red? I can't remember. The Games Workshop red, bright red spray. Because although it was the right thing to do to undercut them in white Halford's spray paint to put over the fine cast, because I suspect that that paint would flake off it. Um, not if you've undercoated it with Halford's primer. And the the white will kind of really brighten up anything sprayed on top of it like a red but i think the different styles work because of the symmetry between those two being the trish morrison design and these two being the more recent games workshop design and you know once it, it's based and spray painted that'll be sort of based and painted it'll be fine methinks pink tongues maybe purple tongues Oh yes, a word about, so how did I actually do it? Basically, I just drilled a hole here, put a paper clip. This is the, um, this is a piece of uh, modeling chain you can get. I mean, it's not beautifully attached. That's just a paper clip kind of drilled in to the um, fine cast material. And then, you know, having slotted this on beforehand, this chain, it does look brilliant, but do you know what? You know, are they great engineers? I mean, that needs a bit of green stuff there along the line, I think. When I get round to it, you know, it's plausible. You know, once it's all painted, will anyone think about it? You know, they're not dwarves, they don't have fantastic smithing abilities. Same thing there. Bit of chain just to suggest how that would work. Somewhere in there is, oh, actually, you can see it there. There's the pin in the hole, but who's going to stick their head underneath there? And if I really care, I could green stuff that too. And I might do, you know. And which army doesn't need two crazed beasties like that flying about? A bit of a scale comparison, so that's a normal 28 mil kind of human being. 32 mil heroic kind of human being. There you go. I mean, you can't escape it. There's definitely something just 
innately funky about squigs and the bigger they are, the funkier they get. I mean, look at these gnarly critters with the little goblins flying around. Look, there's one over there, squished, clear cut case for blood for the blood god gone wild. Just this blood red paint that will go everywhere. They're kind of like the Tyrannosaurus Rex, you know, which give a kind of proper biological case for these guys. You know, all muscle, all head, all teeth, ram into their prey, no need for arms. And that's it for this time. Thanks for watching to the end. Please like if you thought this was a vaguely interesting kit bashing mashup. Comment if you have any suggestions like, hey, I don't think these two actually work together. You know, the old and the new. It looks a bit weird. Or say, yes, do you know, if you paint this, it'll go fine. It'll all kind of just meld into one natural oneness of toothy goodness. And subscribe if one day you want to see if I actually paint them. I'm actually wondering if it might be a Saturday afternoon activity, seeing as my game has just fallen through. Anyway, have a good evening or a good day. Bye-bye.